If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining us on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier two and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future releases that come down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator news and updates. And we are going to jump right into it because some pretty cool information here today. First off, SimWorks Studios PC 12. Guys, I wish I could share so much information with you guys on this. All I can tell you is that it, they have put out an announcement stating that it is um, in its final days of testing. And, and I can tell you guys that... Uh, um, it's an amazing aircraft. I can tell you that they've done an amazing job. I can tell you that it's going to be super exciting for me and for the channel when it is finally publicly released. I can tell you that uh, for Patreon subscribers, it is one of the reasons uh, why I have also been uh, bouncing back and forth between multiple products. Um, there's going to be a really awesome guide associated with this aircraft upon its release. So just stay tuned but you guys this aircraft is freaking phenomenal they have done such a great job with this it's primarily steam gauge so you get all those uh that th those old nostalgic features of flying these kind of aircraft um from the cockpit standpoint i guess it, it reminds me of steve okanivo's tbm 850 very similar uh um of a layout of the cockpit right it's not going to be a full glass screen cockpit okay so it's going to be so much fun to fly, you guys. You guys are going to absolutely love this aircraft. So, again, that's SimWorks Studios PC-12. Uh, very, very close to release, again, in the final days of testing. So, cross your fingers that everything continues to go well for them. This team has done an amazing job with this aircraft. Absolutely freaking amazing job with it. And uh, I cannot wait to share more with you guys. I truly can't. Vat Sims Cross the Pond event is happening once again, you guys, October the 28th of 2023, and it's going to be Eastbound Edition. They have multiple locations across the uh, the eastern seaboard, if you will, um, that you guys can find everything from John F. Kennedy, Boston Logan International, uh, Toronto, Princess Juliana, and then obviously Crossing the Pond over into various locations all over Europe and Great Britain, all kinds of really awesome locations, you guys. If you guys want to be a part of that, head over to the VATSIM website. You can find out a ton more information about the Cross the Pond event. Again, that is going to be October the 28th. I'm going to see what I can do to get myself ready for this. Um, I have been wanting to get back into VATSIM for a very, very long time. I haven't even tried it since the days of X-Plane 11, and I'm talking about my early days, and I ended up going with Pilot's Edge. Um, go figure, right? I go with the expensive one and, and, and the more critical, I guess, at the time. They were very critical at the time, Pots Edge was. Um, so it was very, very challenging for me. Um, but uh, I'm going to see if I can get Vatsim and everything set up uh, quickly enough and get comfortable with it fast enough. You guys are going to start seeing some videos using Vatsim uh, and uh, see if I can join you guys by October 28th. I think that is more than doable. So stick around and hopefully we'll be able to share that experience here on the channel. The F-14 Tomcat has been around from DC Designs for quite some time now, and it's now on version 1.08. The F-14 Tomcat can be picked up on the Sim Marketplace for 24.99 euros, I believe it is. Now, they've also done something a little bit different. They have added the D model to the F-14. The F-14D was the final uh, build version of the F-14 Tomcat um in the real world the f-14d had more efficient engines a much more advanced avionics suite and a few other capabilities that the other two variants did not so if you guys are interested in picking that up again that's going to be 24.99 euros on the sim marketplace you will get three different variants of the f-14 you'll have the a the b and the delta um, the f-14 is a superb aircraft and absolutely wonderful to fly um, and uh, I fly it primarily in DCS, which is why you guys don't see much of it here on Microsoft Flight Simulator from me. Um, but it is there's just something about the F-14 and flying this legendary aircraft that makes it a blast to fly in any simulator, I think. So if you guys are interested in that or if you already own it, be sure to update the package to pick up the new aircraft as it is a free update. Polystorm 3D has released a uh, 787 cockpit texture pack. Coming in right around 13 US dollars on the Sim Marketplace. 
the uh, high definition um, 4K textured handcrafted textures um, were developed for again the 787, which requires the deluxe version of Microsoft Flight Simulator. However, this texture pack doesn't just change the textures, but also fixes quite a few visual bugs with the cockpit performance or uh, cockpit displays in the aircraft, um, as well as has zero FPS impact. I got to say they've done a pretty phenomenal job here and added some much needed detail and depth to the cockpit. This is uh, actually quite impressive. This is one of the better ones that I have seen when specific to the cockpit texturing. Uh, we've seen quite a few packages like that in the past, um, but this one, I would, I would agree that it was necessary. The 787 definitely lacked a lot of cockpit detail and texturing. And so this is pretty slick to see. Now, 13 US dollars, and I'm not trying to cut, undercut anybody's work by any means, guys. Um, I, I think it's pretty fair. I, I, I really do. Um, I, I really don't see any problems with it. I, I think that the detail was clearly put into it. There's obviously a lot of effort in this. You know, now that I'm looking a little bit deeper, you can see scratches and wears and tears. I mean, that's a lot of work. So 13 US dollars. And, and the reason why I'm saying why I scoffed at first was just because if you don't own the deluxe package, you're going to have to upgrade to that to get the 787. But um, thinking a little further, it's also compatible with all of the 787 mods, such as the Kuro 787 that has you know, recently become very, very popular with Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm really liking the coloring. I'm really liking the texture and the details and, and the, uh, the three-dimensional um, shading that's definitely being used and has put uh, really brought this cockpit to life. So I know I was starting to be hesitant about it, but the more that I started to look at the images, yeah, yeah, I'd say this is 13 bucks worth of work, at least. Um, I'm actually, I might grab this one, you guys, and do a video later this evening about this because this is a big difference. If, if I'm not mistaken, this is pretty significant. Uh, the first thing that I have been able to find that really caught me off guard here was right here. That sort of looks like the end of a Lego piece. Um, but, I mean, you look at anything that has any kind of darkish gray or shading to it. And, I mean, even right there, you can see where people's fingers, you know, have been turning and turning. Fingerprints there, hand rest marks. Pretty cool stuff. Foot scuffing. They've really brought the cockpit to life. So, again, Sim Marketplace, $13. A real quick reminder that the F4F Wildcat from Got Friends will be releasing at the end of September. Now, I was uh, provided a pre-release version of the aircraft and did a full review of the aircraft uh, a couple days ago. If you guys want to check that out on my channel, uh, you guys can find that. Again, I think it was two videos ago, so it should be pretty easy to find. Um, this is a really spectacular aircraft. I really enjoy its equal balancing between simulation and complexity, enjoyment and difficulty. Um, really added a lot of really cool features to it while maintaining a beautiful, beautiful flight model, in my opinion. Not necessarily accurate on all fronts. Uh, the landing is probably a lot easier than what it should be, but I was actually kind of grateful to feel that. Um, but anyway, this aircraft is going to be releasing you guys for $19.99. Very reasonably priced for this particular aircraft. The sound is great. The modeling is great. Got, again, a bunch of really cool features. Droppable ordnance, droppable uh, fuel tanks. Uh, the machine gun fires, you guys can see there. Obviously, no damage model whatsoever. Uh, but the aircraft itself has a damage model. You can crash it. You can break the props. You can, you know, do all kinds of damage things to it if that's your thing and how you want to have some fun. But uh, it does obviously increase the risk of the game. It also has state saving or persistent state, I should say, meaning that whatever condition you leave the aircraft in previously, when you restart, it'll be there again. So, again, that is the Got Friends F4F Wildcat releasing at the end of September 1999. It's about time we touch on Flight Sim Expo 2024, which will be in Las Vegas. Vegas next year. Same dates, the 21st, I believe, through the 23rd or 24th, something around that. I know it's on the 24th of June. So that is of 2024, you guys. Overkill Simulations will be there once again. I'm not going to start pounding the videos out about FS Expo again just yet, but as we get closer uh, and it comes time to purchase tickets, you'll probably see a lot more ads about it once again. Um, it was a great time, you guys, and I really hope more of you are able to make it this time. It was so much fun getting to meet you guys. It was such a neat experience having people so excited to meet me that was it was it was almost awe-inspiring the feeling was indescribable being able to meet you guys face to face and talk to so many of you and i really hope i get to see many more of you again in 2024 
this is going to be in Las Vegas. Just imagine the trouble all of us flight simmers could get into out there. Hope to see you guys there. More information will follow as more information becomes available. Stay tuned to the channel for more. Last on the list today, you guys, is the Vire Arrow has come down in price by 50%. They are going to shake the world with this one now. That is freaking huge. As you guys know, the Vire Arrow has been one of the highest definition and most highly performing virtual reality headsets on the market for quite some time, but it had an exuberant price point. Um, it was over $2,000 for this particular device. And in their latest release, they have dropped the uh, price of the arrow permanently by 50%, bringing it down to 1000 US dollars. Obviously tax shipping, things like that may apply. Um, but this is absolutely incredible. You guys, this is a major change. I would love to find out more information. I will be diving a bit into it further uh, to find out why they made such a dramatic change because that is extremely significant. We knew that a price drop was coming, but to see a price drop of 50% is amazing to me. Like I, I it, it makes me wonder why. <laughs> like I, I don't know how to say it. like why, why 50%? Like that is such a massive drop in price. Now it, this could very easily be something as simple as we want the market. If they want the market and they're able to maintain a good profit margin, you know, they may have just decided maybe production changed and they were put in a position where they're able to pump these babies out at a much cheaper price. And they, again, I want the market. Um, maybe that's what it's all about. And if that's the case, they're going to storm it. They're going to take it. They're going to rip it and grip it. Um, with this price drop, they may dominate the market. They really might. I know I just said that, but it's just like I'm, I'm sitting here thinking about all of the different VR headsets right now. I think the only one that it wouldn't quote unquote compete with is the Rift S. And what I mean by that is the market. The Rift S is in a much lower market. You know, Rift S you can pick up for anywhere from three to four hundred dollars, depending on where you are. So you really can't count that as in the same market as, say, the Pimax Crystal against the Arrow. I, I think those are the two that really would be competing here. And Arrow just dropped way below the Pimax Crystal. So I'm also kind of curious if Pimax is going to look at this and go, oh, crap. And, uh, you know, I have the crystal and I love it. I have the 8KX and I love it. But their price points now are going to be in a rough spot in comparison to what the Arrow has to offer. Um, so more information on this to come, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think is going to happen with the VR market, um, especially when you have things like even like the Reverb and, and uh, other headsets that are close in price point. <sighs> None of them have the hardware capability that the Arrow does. And now the arrow is down in their price windows, if not below. Like I said, this is now below the price of the crystal. Um, so I'm really curious what kind of a shift in in uh, in sales this is going to cost. I think this is going to cause a huge VR change. And you know what? We freaking need it. Uh, there are so many good things that could come from this. Aside from just picking up an arrow for a thousand dollars, that is one hell of a deal, you guys. Like the arrow is incredible. I got to try it at Flight Sim Expo. It's incredible. The arrow is, is amazing. Um, but uh, seeing what the price point is going to do now, it's also going to create competition everywhere else because everyone's going to say exactly what I just said to Pimax and Reverb and all that. They're going to go, well, wait a minute. For you know Reverb's case, $200 more, I can pick up an arrow. For Pimax's case against the crystal, people are going to say for $500 less, I can pick up the crystal or a uh, Actually, no, actually, it'd probably be close to a thousand at this point. Um, I can pick up the arrow. So this is going to be interesting. And at the same token, I, I again, we needed this. This could be a really good thing for the market all the way around. Anyways, once again, guys, let me know what you guys think down below. Those are my thoughts for today's news and updates. As always, you guys stay safe and healthy, and I shall see you in the next one.